in this video I'm going to be looking at um, another advanced control which is the wizard advanced control just like the name suggests is a wizard you know <laughs> I make you scared no it's actually one of the easiest tool to use and uh, the control allows you in the last video I was talking about the multi view which allows you to have a multi view of one page so one page can have multiple view this one even makes it better because this one allows you to create to divide a form into a sub form you can have one form uh, divided into multiple forms so and uh, how does it work so let's have a look let's put one inside uh, the wizard control you know it takes me time to find these things um, I think I need to start wearing glasses okay I found I found it so by default this is what it looks like and without wasting your time I will just take you th quickly through what it does and how it does it so as you can see by default let's run it without uh, having any without configuring any properties on it as you can see we have step one and step two added by default so if you have on the step one you can click on next you see that the step two you have the previous and the finish button so if you click on the finish button you can configure the finish button <coughs> to take your client somewhere then you process the information that you have submitted on this form so let's see how we come let's look at some of the property uh, before I look at the property let me show you how you can add multiple steps say for example you're looking for five steps these are the steps this auto uh, auto format you can use this simple you know classic professional colorful let's use the colorful apply so now we get a very beautiful color so how do you add a next step uh, if you say add or remove wiz wizard step you can click on add here and let's add step 3 you can name it whatever you want step 3 and let's add another one step 4 step 4 and uh, let's add another one which will be the finish so this will be the one that they finish so now we have step one all the way to finish uh, you can convert any of this step like this if for example let me show you something because this is step one being selected he only has the next button because there's no previous and there's no finish but if you go to step two you can see you have the previous and the next button same thing for step three and step four but if you click on the finish button you don't have the next button anymore you only have the finish and the previous button so this thing is very smart every time you had another step if i had another step now the step five will be created if i call this now step uh, if i say had and i say step five step five step 5 uh, it will be the step 5 now that will have the finish and the previous button but this doesn't look good does it so let's rearrange it if you click on that you can rearrange them you can move step 5 a little bit upwards so when you do that now this the finish button so it's very smart to know that the last one must have the finish uh, button on it so if you run it now we can see that uh, it's looking more gorgeous <laughs> Yeah, it's looking more beautiful and uh, we can step through the steps so this means that each page the step one can be you can put any control that you want in here this is step one and uh, so on and so forth this is step two you can add as many as any control that you want from here you can be added into uh, the steps you get the idea so uh, anyway let's look at uh, uh, some of the properties that you can configure uh, you can configure the back color which has already been set you can change the, the cancel button text you can change whatever you wanted to say cancel you can cancel button type if the cancel button type you can make it to be an image or a link or a button uh, uh, you can set um, the 
right start next button type you can be a button as well image or a link and um, you can the, this is what I want to show you you can choose to display the cancel button and let me show you how that works remember on our step um, on each of the step we do not have the cancel button now so if I say display cancel button to be true we're going to have the cancel button so that uh, our user can uh, cancel out of the operation cancel of the multi step form and also we can choose the cancel destination page URL so if we choose the cancel destination page URL we can say you should go to the default ASPX so um, now let's see how that looks like <coughs> As you can see, now we have the cancel. If we start from the first step, which is the step one, this is step one. We have the cancel out. If you click on cancel now, it takes us to the home page. So I can have next, previous. I have the cancel. This is the second step, and this is the third step, the fourth step of the form, the fifth step and the finish this is the finish if I still cancel out from here it takes me back to the default ASPX page so that's how you use the um, multi-form let's uh, explore some of the properties let's see if we uh, you can um, um, you have a lot of option here to modify the step style the step preview style button style the step next button style you know sidebar style sidebar style is the this is the sidebar so the style sidebar style we can modify say for example uh, we can set uh, what should we set the font let's set the font and let's set it to to instead of 0 0.9 let's set it to 1.3 so we can make the uh, Font, how about? Oh, he doesn't allow me to change it. Uh, sorry, I, ca I can change it here. 1.3, 1.3 hem. So we can have it bigger. You see, so you can modify the style. You can. Uh, there's a lot of style to modify here. To wherever you like. Uh, the header style. We have the header style. Um, what's the header style? Let's look at what the header is, and uh, we have the header text. Please complete multi-step form. Let's see what that looks like. You see, we have uh, this header when we run it. Um, we get this header which displays. So if you go to step two, the uh, header style still stays. So as you can see, we, you can use this one to do a multi. Cause uh, if you notice, we are not leaving the default three dot ASPX page. Everything is happening on the same page. So you have access to all your control properties that you place on this page. So if you have one form here, the next form in step two, the next form in step three, and so on, you have access to all the controls. So when the person click on the finish button you can process uh, the the uh, information that has been entered into the forms and send it to your database so uh, I'm sure that you you can do a lot of creative stuff with this so that is how to use the wizard control to create a multi step form uh, if you have any question like I always say, please drop me a line on my blog and I'll get back to you. Thank you.